All right, today we're going to be talking about the Horror Story 450 RPM Kinetic Auto Rifle that is exclusively available during the Festival of the Lost event every October. Now this thing has been around for a little while, but it hasn't been around while 450 RPM auto rifles have been particularly good. And I know that this thing's going to get some play this season simply because it's a kinetic auto rifle that can roll things like subsistence and rampage, so it wouldn't be bad to use as your anti-barrier weapon in lower to middle range content. For higher end content, you probably do want to go for the Braytech Werewolf, as that can roll fourth times in Vorpal, but this one's still really nice and it looks really cool. And one thing that does make this thing stand out would be the lights on the side, and the fact that they can change colors with certain shaders, which, I mean, yes, I have definitely milked that quite a bit. But as you can see from the background, gameplay and previews are in the menu, this thing does actually shade very well, and the lights do change very frequently. I did decide to switch it up a bit today and provide some actual in-game uh, recordings of the different shaders on the weapon, and that's because I know a couple of you guys have asked for it, so I'm going to try and provide uh, in-game looks at these weapons from here on out. And I did actually use a real microphone for this video, so that's neat. It's not mine, so don't get used to this, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to show off these different shaders. The different shaders that work for it are Oiled Gunmetal, Iridescent Coral, and I believe Oiled Algae and Vintage Timber. And then additionally, I'm showing off Testido, which completely turns off the lights in the menu, but for some reason didn't seem to in the gameplay, as well as the season pass shader that you get that just makes it look, ugh, Amrit is Dream, I believe is which one it is, and it's this really nice purple and white color. It just shades super nicely. The purple lights look great, so I figured I'd throw that in there as well. But that's going to be all that I talk about today. I will catch you guys later. Tomorrow I'm going to have a new video up comparing the new Jurassic Green Pulse Rifle to the Forge's Pledge from Iron Banner. So yeah, that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.